Let's take a street view tour of Virginia Woolf's life in London. She's considered to be one of the most important British writers of the 20th century. Virginia Woolf was a pioneer in using stream of consciousness as a narrative device. This was Virginia Woolf's childhood home. The Kensington dwelling is just a short stroll from the Royal Albert Hall and is adorned with three English heritage blue plaques, one for her father, sister and herself. While growing up, Virginia Woolf was taught at home by her parents, but by 1897 she wanted to experience formal education. At the time, she was only permitted to attend the separate ladies department of King's College London. Here she spent four years studying classics and history, and came into contact with some of the early reformers of women's higher education and the women's rights movement. The family moved to 46 Gordon Square in Bloomsbury after their father died in 1904. They became part of the Bloomsbury Group, which was made up of English writers, intellectuals, philosophers and artists who had studied at Cambridge or worked in Bloomsbury. A key feature of the group was the way their works and approach celebrated the importance of the arts. 